Well, when I first, I remember pigeons when I was about six years old. My brother, who was five or six years older than me, he, uh, well, he didn't build a pigeon loft, it was more like wire netting. And uh, he used to go down to the farms and, and pick them up uh, up in the barns down there, ex racing pigeons, and uh, bring them home to St. Burian. And uh, we used to live right by, right by the church. And uh, I can remember after they'd been in a few days, I would let them out thinking they would stay. But they would go straight back, they would go up on the tower and then you'd see them all of a sudden go straight off in a straight line for home. And then a few days later, my brother would go down there on his bike in the Hessian sack and pick up another lot and bring them back. And uh, I had them until I was about 14. And then I went to Scotland on holiday um, with my auntie and stayed up there for five years. And then I joined the Territorial Army I had a big accident. Um, I was a dispatch rider for an officer and uh, I got hit by a flying lamppost at 70 <laughs> mile an hour uh, as I was going into Leicester. The old, uh, well, they would issue me with a leather riding jacket and I had to use my uh, old army coat and uh, my brother, who was a dispatch rider as well, because uh, I can't remember nothing, uh, he said that it caught in the back wheel and it threw me off and it hit this at lamppost when I was flat out at 70 mile an hour trying to keep up with this officer and it broke cast iron lamppost up in the bend and I broke my spine in three places and dislocated it. 11 ribs, uh, they removed my spleen because I ruptured that. Um, 11 ribs, shoulder blade, um, this ankle. I was engaged to a girl at the time and uh, after that I, don't know, I think I was different. But you was paralyzed for two years. I was paralyzed for two years, I couldn't walk and they told me I'd never walk again and I woke up one morning and I don't know, something was touching me with a feather and uh, it came back in this leg and they said you're a lucky boy, you, you got the use of your left leg but your right leg is no good. I said you told me my left uh, my left leg was no good, now that one's going to be alright. So I used to spend hours in the gymnasium and until I got this one going again. And then I had to learn to walk and I had to learn to run. And you said you were engaged? I was engaged to a girl up there, yeah, and uh, that broke up. I think a lot of that was because of the way I was after the accident, like, you know. Um, yeah, it was our going up there for a while. When I broke up with a girl up there, I, I was, I'd ended up being a charge hand in a, in a chemical factory. And, uh, but after that happened, I decided to come home. And uh, because I was getting a lot of money, I was getting army money and I was getting money from the charge and uh, they were good. They paid me the whole time I was ill. Uh, I bought a, a Morgan sports car and uh, when I decided to come home, I loaded up pigeons, everything and came home and I started keeping pigeons again in about 1974 or five. But I had them in 19, before 1950, um, but I've always had them, and I don't know what it is. Once you got, once you have them, you can't stay away from them. Is it always been about having the fastest yeah. ones? Yeah, always beating somebody else, and if you didn't like it, that was better still. <laughs> somebody beat you this week, you shake his hand and say, "Well done." when you get on you to think, and I went use the language, but uh, it, I used to go down the pigeon loft with a stick, but I didn't win. And I'd run it down up there, calling them all the names under the sun. And all the pigeons would be standing on their perches looking at me. You know? but, uh, 
Yeah, it was always. Yeah, always. We had to win. He's the same. You know, he's well done to anybody who beat me. But uh, you know they've had the coast on the beat you like, you know. <laughs>